of Entrepreneurial Services at the uh, Women's Business Development Center in Chicago, Illinois. And it's a couple minutes before 4. Uh, so we're going to wait uh, until 4 o'clock to start. But I just wanted to let you know that if you're here for the workshop, finding your way when you're stuck, you're in the right place. And I'll be with you in just a couple minutes. Welcome everybody. My name is Meg Herman and I am with the Women's Business Development Center here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and I will be interested to find out where you all are from uh, when we get to the end of the session. This session probably won't be a full hour, um, but I will be here for a full hour to answer questions uh, for you. Uh, you will see that there is a place for you to type in questions. I probably will um, take questions at the end. Um, if there's one that goes along with what I'm talking about right that moment, I'll answer that then. So you'll know uh, about that. Uh, this is me. Uh, I'm Director of Entrepreneurial Services. And that means I work with primarily startups and emerging, but I do also work with some established businesses. We do have 13 counselors here at the Women's Business Development Center to work with very a variety of specialized needs. Uh, if you want to learn more about our services, uh, next month we'll have a, uh, a webinar called Grow Your Business with WBDC's uh, a Service Guide. And uh, you can learn more about that then. And the other way you can learn more about us is uh, looking at our very robust website um, to learn more about uh, our services. Uh, and uh, so I will talk more about uh, WBDC as we go along. But today our focus is really looking at uh, a series of tools um, called Growth Wheel. And um, the first thing I want to point to you uh, point out to you is that uh, this webinar comes with a tool for participants. So this should be, e be uh, emailed to you right now uh, uh, as you join the, the webinar. It's only available to participating registrants. So those other 30 people that have signed up on our care yet don't get it. So lucky you, you are special. Um, so uh, if uh, uh, you should be receiving an email from eGIRMA, E-G-I-R-M-A, who is sending out the email as we speak or to you all uh, 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 while we have the slide up. So while that's going out and you're waiting to open that email, um, and uh, if you could print that out, that would be best for the remainder of the workshop. But sometime, 
you know, at the end of it, you might download it then too. You don't need it right now, but uh, it is available to you now. Because I'm going to talk about what it means during the course of this webinar and how to use it. Uh, this is a uh, required uh, webinar for future webinars regarding other growth wheel tools that I will be talking about. And this year, I plan to do 24 uh, webinars on uh, 24 different tools in the growth wheel toolbox. So in order to get those, you have to take this uh, particular webinar. So yay for you, you've already got that happening. Um, so now we're going to take a little poll. So if you will um, uh, look at your poll, let's see. I'm, there we go. Um, the first one is I'd like to know um, how you are, um, how you heard about WBDC. Did you hear about it from a friend? Um, uh, the SBA website, good. Um, serving for other women's business services um, or some other bank or lending uh, service. So we'd like to see how we do that. So I'll give you a few minutes to vote early and often and uh, because it is Chicago and we don't really do things that way here, but we do have a reputation for that. Um, so I hope you will be uh, voting. So far, two-thirds of you are voting. I'm holding out for that other third. Oh, good. Now we've got close to three quarters voted. Those of you who can't find your uh, click button, keep at it. You probably can find it. I'll give you a few more seconds to um, vote, and it'll show you what you said. Are you ready? I'm getting ready to close the poll. One last moment. Okay, the poll is closed, and here's what you said. A third of you found out about WBDC through SBA. Some of you, uh, 40, over 40% 40 of you were serving for Women's Business Services, and a third of you found out some other way. Well, that was really interesting. So uh, check your email. See if the growth wheel tool has gotten to you. And in the meantime, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. Nothing like multitasking early in the thing. Then you get off the hook for a while. Okay. Let's look at the next polling question. Are you, we want to find out like what kind of business uh, length of life uh, you've had so far with your own business. Are you a startup? Established three or more years? Maybe you're just exploring the feasibility of the business or multiple business ideas, or whether you even want to be in business. So vote now, vote often. Not quite half of you have voted yet. Now half of you have voted. Come on, I know you're out there. You can do this. Two-thirds of you have voted. Almost 90% have voted. Way to go. You guys are really shaping up as an audience now. I'm really glad to see that. Okay, so let me share what you said. Half of you are startups. Another quarter are established businesses. And a couple of you are still in the, or some of you are still in the uh, uh, exploring the feasibility of your business. So yay you. That was so good. Let's do one more, and then I promise to get you off the hook. So, are you a veteran of military services, interested in opening a child care business, or already in a child care business, established business in uh, Aurora, or none of the above? And the reason we are asking that is we have specialized programs for each uh, of these areas, and we want to see if any uh, people who are interested in those areas are there. Okay, we've got one person interested in a child care business with 70% voting, 80% voting. Come on, I'm rooting for you. There's at least a couple more of you that could vote. And you could be more than one of these, not just one. 
Okay, 90% is voted. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to close it. I'll give you one more second. There we go. Okay, here's the sherry. Okay, so now um, let's share this. Uh, so um, here we go. 11% of you, one of you or, or two of you may be interested in opening a child care business. And, all, and most of you uh, don't fit into any of these categories. Well, thank you for that information. Okay, go back and check your email. See if you've gotten your growth wheel tool. Uh, and then while you're checking, I'm going to move on. Also, I want to remind you that there is a box for questions. And uh, I will be answering them as we go. First of all, let's talk about what Growth Wheel is. Growth Wheel is a, um, is a tool that many small business development centers have adopted in the United States because it's such a valuable tool for clients to build their business, um, to think through what they need to do to build their business. Uh, it helps uh, entrepreneurs build your businesses through a simple action-focused process that stays true to the, uh, the way most uh, entrepreneurs think and work. For me, as a business advisor, it um, provides a toolkit of tools to uh, use with you when you meet with me. And uh, it's a checklist to keep a 360-degree perspective um, on, the, uh, on your business as a way to empower you to do more work on your business. Uh, growth Wheel is a toolbox for decision making in both startups and growth companies. It's really for any company in any industry at any stage of growth. These tools do, are not um, uh, answers. They are processes to help you think through and structure uh, uh, issues and work through them. Uh, that are impacting your bill, uh, uh, business. So uh, it helps entrepreneurs and advisors get focused to set an agenda for conversations, make decisions, and take action. Growth Reel is really um, uh, a, a concept that allows you to look at four basic issues that all businesses face, no matter what their age, what their type, what their industry. Uh, first of all, you have to have an attractive business concept. And uh, this is such a great visual way to look at the areas of business that everybody already knows exist, but you're going to have a chance to work through them. So there are four major areas and, and uh, sub areas, but let me just hit the four big areas first. First, the attractive business concept. Well, that's meeting or creating a demand, right? And then building a strong, if you look up in the uh, green area, uh, uh, or excuse me, if you look down in the red areas, building a strong organization to carry out that business concept. Then, you know, customers make or break everything. So having lasting customer relationships is an ongoing issue for everybody. And then finally, in the blue area, um, being able to uh, have profitable operations, making it work. So these are the challenges all businesses face. And so it's a simple approach to, um, uh, to addressing these areas by breaking down each area into five areas. So there's 20 focus areas on this wheel. Here's the, doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> so we're going to break down the four challenges into 20 focus areas right now. And so it's a way of looking at what are the business decisions I need to make about my business. Um, so when we think about what's the big picture look like, it looks like this. And so I'm going to go into detail in each quadrant. But this just gives you an overview of what are the, those 20 areas overall. I will come back to this throughout the webinar. So the 20 focus areas are things where uh, your business advisors or counselors or coaches, they already know that. And you are probably already working on these if, you, if you're already in business. 
So uh, growth wheel tools help you get new inspiration. And uh, in this first section, we look at, like, are there any new ideas to try out? So when we look at the business concept, we have to have a great idea. We have to be able to make something great, whether it's a service or a product. It has to be an attractive business concept. So what do we mean by that? Well, first we mean uh, we have to get the right business idea. And then we need to design the right product portfolio to carry out that business idea. Product meaning product or service. Then we have to sell it by designing the right revenue model and getting it to the right customers. And we do this by uh, figuring out who our customers are and identifying what the market position is. So that's, that's what we mean by the five areas in the business concept. We also need to figure out what needs to be decided, and that begins to help us think about the organization of the business. So these are the five areas, and I'll go over each one of those briefly as well. So when we talk about strong organization, we're talking about building teams and partnership. So who's going to own this business? Is it going to be me, 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 and maybe me, and then me? Or am I going to do it uh, bigger than that? And nobody does a business alone. So when we look at ownership, it starts with you, the owner. But then there's probably also a board of advisors. And eventually, there may also be a board. Um, and then there's the question of, do I need to have employees? And if I do, then I have to recruit and develop the right employees. Then, one of the ways that business gets done in this time and place is through partnerships. So identifying the right partnerships, maybe outsourcing tests through them, uh, maybe figuring out who, who are my best suppliers and contractors, those, that's what's an important piece of figuring out your organization. But then you also have to figure out your core business processes. And you need to have the legal framework in place for everything to work together and for you to protect your, your interests and your assets. So you need to build a team, whether it's a team of you and advisors or uh, related partners, or a team of you and employers and a board of directors. You need to have a strong organization. We talk about in Growth Wheel 2 to figure out, like, are there any new ideas to try out? When we look at uh, uh, getting, once we've uh, refined our product and service and figured out our organization, we also need to look at customer relations. So let's look at all parts of these. Um, we need to be able to find and keep clients. And one of the main ways to find new clients is focused networking to get the right introductions. Then we need to choose the right way to do marketing. And we need to organize effective sales processes. We need to be able to get into the media and onto the customer's agenda by handing, handling communication and PR. Living the values that shape a strong branding of the organization and products becomes uh, critical because we need to build trust and build authenticity, and that's what our branding has to reflect. The final area is a, an area in which we look at barriers to, to growth and what can be further explored. Actually, we can look at these questions in general all over the wheel, but let's look at right now operations. When we look at operations, we're talking about being productive and making money. We have to make sure there's the right financial practices. We need to know our financial tools and how to use them. We need to be able to uh, uh, ensure that there's enough funding uh, to, for profitable investments to be made, both by us and by others. We have to, have to set up the right production and project management systems to ensure that deliveries uh, are, are uh, effective and without complaint. And we also have to set up the right IT systems and facilities to carry out the business. So overall, we're looking to discover decisions, uh, see the challenges and opportunities, and here's, that's our overview.
All right. So there's so many things we obviously could talk about here. So many things. And so, you know, if you've freaked out and, and uh, fallen out, it's because you think that you have to do all of these. But you can't do everything. So the beauty of this process is you don't have to do it all. Do first things first. Well, what are the first things? Well, that's part of the dialogue with your counselor um, uh, to figure that out. You can do any of these and all of these. So um, let me see what I want to make sure I talk about with doing this. Hold on just a second. Check your email box if you have if you still haven't gotten it yet, maybe you will have gotten it by now. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about using this 360 degree screening tool, which basically looks like what I've just shown you on the growth wheel. Um, in this tool, you can um, identify uh, three different, you can use it three different ways. One is you can use it to diagnose challenges, you can use it to map opportunities, or you can evaluate um, your competencies. So let's see what we're talking about there. Um, when we talk about um, diagnosing uh, the, the, uh, the barriers to growth or diagnosing challenges, um, the idea here is to really like, what's going wrong? Uh, what are we trying to do here? Uh, you know, what, what's keeping us from going? So if you were going to use this tool to identify your barriers to growth, the way to look at this is one is in the center of the circle, and five is at the outer rim. And five means something like, great, we're doing fine here, no problems, we got that covered, it's not an issue. Uh, one means either um, it's not important to me, or um, it's something that I know nothing about. And the numbers in between is like, I know something about this, but I want to know more. So you could go around the circle and identify where your, you know, where are great barriers of, to growth and where are little barriers to growth. That's one thing you can do. You know, map opportunities. It's like where do we have the most opportunities for growth? Would it would it be most useful for us to expand our business concept? Would it be most useful within the business concept for us to really hone in on our customer portfolio and our market position and really refine that? Would it be uh, easy, better for us in terms of opportunity if we refined our systems down in the operations blue corner? Uh, so that's how you can think about it in terms of mapping opportunities. Uh, another way of using it is to evaluate the competencies that you or your uh, staff members have. Uh, if you have uh, employees, uh, you know, what skills are needed for growth? Uh, can we not grow because we have nobody who could uh, handle an increased uh, technical competence that we don't have? Uh, do we uh, have... Um, I need uh, a gap where we don't really uh, know how to fold in social media as part of our overall strategy for our business. So again, you would identify, you would go around and you would identify one of the most important areas in which we need to build skills and then make an action plan to get them. So if you have gotten your email, you should have downloaded this tool by now. And you can assess the challenge of your business. Um, this 
uh, this tool is only available to you because you registered and are participating in this workshop. Then, once you look at this, you want to prioritize the top two or three areas in which you want to work immediately. Um, and then what would happen is that you would work with a counselor. If you're in the Chicago area, you might work with me. Uh, you might work with Cynthia Johnson, who is our SBDC director and uh, director of established businesses. Or if you're outside the Chicago area, you may want to your, go to your closest small business development center and see if they are using Grows Wheels. Over 30 states, uh, SBDCs in 30 states are using the Growth Wheel tool, so you have a fighting chance to get somebody who knows how to work with you on these. I want to talk a little bit of, uh, about the, um, the tools. Uh, that we have um, in the Growth Wheel Toolbox. And I want to talk a little bit about um, the, uh, the ways that uh, the conversation would go in a session uh, focused on these. First of all, you would, with your counselor, review this 360 assessment. And you would say, of all these things, the most important thing for me to talk about today is this. And then the counselor would talk to you about, well, what's going on regarding that. And in your conversation, your counselor is going to say, OK, within that segment that you said is most important to you, say you said networking is most important to you right now. In the networking toolbox, there are, um, there are frameworks, there are articles, and there are tools. And the frameworks are really kind of a step-by-step -step way of guiding the conversation between you and the counselor on that particular topic. And uh, the um, tools, there may be two or five tools that could address different aspects of that session. And so the counselor's going to be listening about which, which part of this thing is, is uh, popping for this client right now. And so they might say, you might want to take a look at this tool. Each tool is um, laid out in, on the left hand side they have, and I'm sorry I couldn't pull up a tool for you for this session. Um, each tool has on the left side the intent of the tool, how to use the tool, and the next steps using the tool. The tools are color coded by each one of those sections, and they give you a framework through which to think through that issue or challenge that you're having, or that opportunity that you're having. Then the you would probably work on that tool and talk through it with your counselor. Or you may just simply say, uh, this is something I need to go off and work on on my own and come back and talk to you about. So these tools, I think, um, provide an instant way for you to have a common language with a counselor. And it allows you to be prepared for a meeting and it empowers you to do more work on your own on your business. So when you work with these tools, you can expect to have conversations in the session and homework after the session that will take your business further. So I think with that, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to see what questions you have. Um, so. Please feel free to start typing in some questions that you have uh, about this tool, and I will be here to answer them. I will also, if you uh, uh, want to ask me a question, I'll see if I can. I, this is a fairly new session uh, system for us, so um, I'm hoping that I could also answer a question verbally. So let me see if I can do that as well. But please feel free to type in any questions you have regarding the tools. The, I will say, too, the, the next session that we have, the first tool that we're, um, that we're going to be focusing on um, is coming up on the 30th, um, How Well Do You Know Your Customer? And that will be at noon. 
uh, and you can register for that on our website, wbc.org. <clears throat> so, um, here's a question. So the question is, how long would a typical, typical counseling session be if I was working with the WBC representative on my three prioritized area? Um, it depends. Famous catch-all answer. Um, the um, uh, usual time is about an hour, but that could vary from counseling counselor um, and depending on uh, what you need, if you think you're going to need more time, you should request that up front so that the counselor knows. Uh, we, we do counseling by appointment. Um, as you can see, the way you get an appointment is that you call the, front, uh, the, the number on the screen and I think it's extension 100 actually rather than extension 0 and you uh, ask for an appointment. Um, and they will find the person that's uh, uh, most available uh, or available the soonest that could work with you. Uh, and our counselors have been introduced to these tools, um, but I am the primary one using the tools right now, as is Cynthia. But others are becoming more aware of the tools and be able to have uh, good conversations with you regarding those tools. I see that there's another question here. Um, okay, so somebody asked that they not sure how to download the 360 assessment. The 360 assessments should have been sent to you by email, and um, it should uh, be just a simple attachment, um, a PDF file uh, that you should be able to uh, open and print out. I hope that will resolve that question for you. I have another question. Okay, I don't have another question. Now I have another question. Um, what help does the WBDC for uh, provide for constructing a business plan? Well, we do a lot of that. Um, I would say that's one of our primary uh, resources here at the WBDC. We have, um, uh, we have online on-demand learning segments that you can take. They are um, found under events, wbdc.org slash events slash online business education. We have 15 short learning segments, uh, five or six of them on general business development, including how to build a business plan, and uh, five or six are on uh, the financial information. Uh, and uh, we also uh, encourage people to take a course called Starting a Business in Illinois if you're new to business. Uh, and uh, that looks at the feasibility of starting a business from three areas and also we bring an attorney in to talk about uh, legal structures that we talk about basic licensing issues uh, in that workshop so um, we have that and then we have a business development uh, plan um, series called plan for profit and that is by invitation only uh, the requirements for that are taking starting a business in Illinois or let me know, uh, you know, if you've been in business for a while, um, talking to me about that. Um, taking something called Business Finance 101, which is one of our short learning segments in our online on-demand basket. And then um, writing out your business concept uh, and how you, uh, and your business model of how you're making money and setting up an appointment with me to make sure we discuss the feasibility of your business idea. If it is feasible, 
um, if we both determine after those conversations that your business idea is feasible, I would encourage you to take Plan for Profit, which is our 12-week program. And you can find out more about that program on our website um, under Starting, a bit, uh, starting Startups. And uh, there's a page that describes what's involved in each module. Um, by the end of that um, set of series of workshops, uh, you will uh, have a draft of your plan. Uh, you may still be working on it by that time, uh, collecting data and, and working out your financials, but you'll pretty much have your business development plan built. And then, of course, uh, we certainly encourage you to work with an individual counselor to work on your business plan as well. Are there other questions that you were uh, asked? There's Dulcinea. How, uh, Dulcinea asked, how much business information uh, before we uh, does my uh, do you need on my business before we meet? Um, and uh, uh, I would say uh, I would I would encourage you if you have not taken um, the uh, starting business knowledge to do that before you meet with a counselor, and then you will have worked on your business a bit, um, at least. And for those of you who are in business already, you know just come with your list of questions uh, and issues that you want to talk about. So I hope that helps clarify, Dilsen, on what, what you hope to get. Uh, there's a Dilsen, also asked, do you have more detailed information on the 20 focus areas that would help as I work on scoring each segment? Yes, I would encourage you to go to the uh, website, growthwheel.com, and you can find a lot more information there. And yes, of course, I have more uh, information on the focus areas. The idea is for you to assess uh, for yourself where you are in relationship to each one of those focus areas. So there's there's no right answers. It's more an assessment for you to determine what do I need to know about this or what's really giving me pain about this that I really need to work on. So I hope that helps you think through that part. Um, See. Okay. What helped us? Uh, okay. So I think I've answered all the questions so far. Um, again, uh, uh, if you are in the Chicagoland area, we are very happy to work with you um, in person and over the phone. Uh, we also serve uh, Illinois in general. I did have a call today about that. And uh, while we don't have um, uh, satellites in other parts of the state, we are the only women's business center in Illinois. Um, and we are working with established businesses, uh, particularly out in Aurora, in a new uh, program called Scale Up Aurora. And we are also, we've also established a satellite um, uh, Procurement and Technical Assistance Center, which is a, a long name for our uh, counselors who do government contracting assistance and helping people learn how to navigate the government um, morass to determine if they're a good candidate to work with any government entities. And we found that there was a um, uh, it was a long ride for anybody in the south southwest suburbs. So we um, we have worked with um, the South uh, Community College in, in South Holland. Uh, and so we have a location there for government contracting counseling. Okay, so there's another question, a couple questions. Um, I see, uh, I want to start a center-based child care business. Do you know how long it is the process generally? Yeah, that depends. That's my favorite answer. Um, 
because it really depends on many, many variables. But Angelica, I would suggest strongly that you meet with either Rebecca Diaz um, or Janice Lopez because both of them are um, child care specific counselors and they could help, uh, help answer that question much more fully. There's no average time for startup. A lot of it has to do with your business acumen and the, the, um, uh, the money you have to put towards the business. Okay, let's see if I got everybody's questions. Keep asking me questions. I love answering your questions and no question is dumb. Um, has anybody started working on their 360 assessment? And if so, what did you come up with? Any other questions I can answer for you? If not, I hope that some of you will uh, register for the upcoming um, uh, specific tool workshops. What I've done, uh, my plan is, the method in my madness is to do one, uh, two a month. Um, the first one, as I said, is uh, issue business idea clear coming up on the 30th. The other two coming up in February are um, uh, how well do you know your customer? Oh, the first one is is your business idea clear? That's on the 20th of this month at noon. And then on the 30th of this month, how well do you know your customer? Um, which is uh, getting at understanding who your customers are and becoming better at designing your products or services to meet with them and communicating with them. And then uh, the ones in February is, uh, is uh, on the 11th. Uh, also at noon, determine the categories of uh, what's called do you know your way that, to profitability and um, do you, uh, determining the categories of expenses you need to plan for and of ways to increase revenue and reduce costs. And then the final one in February is, is partnership right for my business. Okay, so now I've got a couple more questions. Okay, um, so, so uh, Amy says she gave it a go. Good for you, Amy. Good old college try. Love that. Um, you need more information about how to evaluate the categories and looking on the Growth Wheel website. Okay, so remember, don't get hung up on the information. The idea is, uh, if it's if it's you know if you're doing it for diagnosing challenging. Be aware of the challenges you have right now, and is this really challenging to you? Um, uh, if it's not an issue for you, just skip it. If you don't know enough about it, just skip it. If there's something you feel like you want to know a lot more about, then it's a, a priority. I think that's one of the ways to look at this growth wheel. Uh, the, in, the intent is to make it simple and direct for you to take action on what you need to take action. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Dilsenea. I'll tell you, there's some sharp people on this call. Um, there's a second page, she says, which is true of the growth wheel. On the back side of the growth wheel, um, if you were to have a hard copy, it would be front and back. Um, so in your email, it should be page one and page two. The second page is a planning tool. And you can do this on your own. 
you can use it with uh, a counselor. It's totally up to you. So let's just look at that for a moment for those of you who have it. Uh, you'll see um, it says 360 action, take the next step. This is just a place for you to start putting into action a list of things that you need to do based on what you thought through and the discovery you've made. So the square, you see a, a, the first column is a checklist. That's where you check it off if it's done. The second one is what's the idea? Um, the third column is uh, when do I want to get it done? Right, there's a little clock face. And when do I want to get it done by? What's, what's my time frame? And if it's somebody besides me doing it, who am I assigning it to? So that's what it means. Um, and you, you will see that you have a place to put the date, your name, and your company so that you can share that with your counselor. Or when you're with a counselor, the counselor can keep a copy uh, when you leave so that you can pick up at the next session and talk about, well, so how to go? You know, did, were you able to get those things done? If not, why not? Um, and it's not about guilt tripping you. It's about like what, some, some things become more important. Some things you find out aren't as doable as other things. So it becomes the grist for the conversation. Um, the, the counselor is there to support you and explore with you and help you hold yourself accountable. Um, that's what we do here. Okay, let me see if there's any other things that have come in. So I hope that was helpful to help you learn about the growth wheel. This tool is the beginning tool for you. The other tools are in each of the areas um, that we've talked about. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, uh, some of you here. Uh, we also do counseling by phone. Um, the, the tools are available electronically, so I can uh, email them to you. Um, as we determine what, what tools you need to work with. Any other questions that anybody has? All right, then, if there's no other questions, I'm going to give you about 30 seconds uh, more. Uh, if there's anybody who wants to send me a, a note uh, during this uh, uh, webinar. Um, the other webinars will be about this long, about a half an hour long, and then uh, opportunity for questions about using the tools. So this will be the structure that we'll be using uh, about every two weeks to uh, introduce tools and help you grow your business. I'm very hope, uh, excited to work with you over time and uh, I hope you have a great launch in the new year for all of your business efforts. Thanks very much.